hello everyone in this video we are going to see vibe coding on salesforce with the agent force for uh, developers we got a assistant using which we were able to do smart salesforce development with the new vibe coding on uh, salesforce instead of just planning and getting some information from the AA assistant it has evolved into act mode so you can uh, ask agent force uh, for developer um, a assistant to create a task and uh, complete the task for you let's see that in action there are some prerequisites that has to be done in order to start uh, wipe coding on salesforce make sure you install salesforce extension in your visual uh, studio code once uh, it is uh, installed create a project and make sure you are authorizing your uh, project uh, so when we create a project or when we create a project with the manifest we have to authorize that org so that it is connected to your salesforce org in your salesforce org this shouldn't be disabled a, uh, agent force uh, for developers if you go to the salesforce setup under development you will find agent force for developers when you open it it shouldn't be disabled it should be enabled by default it is enabled in the orgs next uh, you have to install agent force for uh, developers uh, extension also confirm that extension is also uh, installed if i go to extensions so this is the agent force for developers that has to be installed okay the next uh, uh, important prerequisite is uh, make sure the salesforce cli is up to date and uh, the version uh, should be v2.2.91.5 or higher if you go here and then if you type sf update it will update your uh, salesforce uh, cli so it uh, updated it from 2.95.62 to 2.10.107.6 so it updated it so it is definitely above the prerequisite which is 2.91.5 so it is definitely higher okay once that is done in your vs code you have to open this in your command palette so if i go here if I use command shift P, I should be able to open preferences, open user settings. Once you use that command, it will open settings.json file. Here, by default, whatever settings you have changed uh, will be available. On top of it, use a comma and then you have to add these two lines of code. I have shared that code here if you wanted to know more about these uh, properties so that you can enable without uh, any issues or concern you can go over this blog post once that is done you have to use the agent force icon here to access it once you access the agent force after changing uh, these uh, settings you will see the dev agent will be in uh, wipe code mode once this is done the next step is uh, you have to switch to act mode by default it will be in uh, plan mode instead of plan mode make it as act mode making it act uh, mode will make sure it can start uh, uh, creating files uh, it can update your uh, um, metadata files it can complete the task instead of just giving you a plan for the act, uh, for the task so make sure it is in act mode next 
in the same VS code, if you click manage MCP servers for the Salesforce DX, by default, it will be toggled off, toggle on so that it can, it can make use of Salesforce DX M MCP server. So if I ask any question, it will go to the Salesforce DX MCP server and it will help me in uh, creating the uh, metadata file, getting some update uh, from Salesforce uh, uh, org. For example, if you want to list all the objects in your org, if you wanted to list all the Lightning Web component, so it will make use of uh, the Salesforce DX uh, uh, MCP uh, uh, server. So in the MCP server, there might be multiple Salesforce uh, DX MCP clients. So it will try to find the right client and then it will help you in uh, uh, developing uh, uh, in the Salesforce environment. Okay, once this is also done, you should be able to uh, start uh, uh, prompting. Uh, I'm going to prompt this. Uh, I'm going to ask the agent force dev agent to create an apex class with the name opportunity helper and it should contain this method and it should query all the opportunity records where the amount is greater than fifty thousand dollars it should also enforce user mode and it should also use with security enforced in the soql once it understood all this it should uh, uh, also generate a test class and then it should insert a mock data to ensure new method gets 100% code coverage and assert that only two high value opportunities are written. So let me try this prompt and let me test it out. Uh, if you wanted to add any context, you can add using this. If you wanted to add multiple MCP servers, you have to go here and then you have to start adding the MCP servers that are available. Okay, so here I'm going to ask this prompt. So this is the task so that it can act on it. So first it created the opportunity helper class. Let's look at that class. So if I click save, it will create that Apex class. Now it is creating uh, the metadata file. So that I am saving that also. Next it is creating the test class. I'm going to save it. Now it is creating the meta.xml file. I'm going to click save. So it created uh, the classes for me. So this is the apex class. And uh, this is the test class for that apex class. Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get the command to open the file. We have to open uh, settings.json file. So in order to open it, you can use this command. Next we have to add these two lines of code so this is also available in the blog post so you have to add it here uh, you can start uh, using uh, salesforce uh, advanced dev aa assistant 
to create uh, classes help in uh, and then it can also help in uh, your salesforce development thank you for watching